Well, sharks are a slow moving filter feeding carpet shark. They are the largest living non mammalian creature on the planet. It is the only member of the Rhicodon family and belongs to the subclass order Elasmobranchs. The species originated around 16 million years ago and feeds primarily on plankton. They are found in tropical waters around the world and are rarely found in temperate waters below 21 degrees centigrade. The first specimen that was recorded in recent history was harpooned in Turtle Bay, South Africa. The name whale shark is used due to their size and their feeding habit being the same as many whales. The size of the mouth is 1.5 meters wide and uh, the average whale shark is 9.7 meters long and weighs around 9 tons in weight. They are primarily found in open water the environments near to the surface as that is where they feed. However, they are capable of diving up to 1800 meters deep and can be found in lagoons and coral reefs and estuaries, presumably for breeding purposes. The mating habits of the whale shark have never been observed in the wild or in captivity. However, it's in 1996 a female specimen was found with over 300 eggs in her uterus. Whale sharks are oviviparous, just like many others of the shark family. This means that the eggs will hatch inside the mother and the live young will emerge from within the mother. Uh, although the, they may hold around 300 eggs, they will only give birth to one or two pups at a time. This makes it, this is why scientists believe that the females are able to return, retain sperm to produce a steady rate of individuals for a population. The breeding grounds are supposedly around St. Helena in South Africa, as this is where they found the smallest juvenile specimen recorded at less than 40 centimetres long. Other juveniles that have been found have been excess of 70 centimetres, which supports the ferry that they breed in South Africa. The young will feed on plankton and can consume around 21 kilograms of food per day. Whale sharks are a filter feeding species of shark. Only two other sharks are known to do this as well. They are the basking shark and the magamal shark. They do this through ram feeding, which is where they will just move forward and food will pass through the mouth and over the gills and the food will be caught within the filter pads in the gills. They can also do this through suction feeding, where they will inhale large pockets of water containing the food and also and then push it out of the gills. However, this one, this feeding method is not found within the second largest species, the basking shark, and the other filter field feeding species, the megamouth shark. They are active feeders and in the feed them majority on plankton, however they are able to consume small fish, uh, squid and larvae. Uh, in the BBC programme Planet Earth, Planet Earth uh, they had footage of a shark consuming a small shoal of fish and one that coincided its migratory pattern with the breeding behaviours of a fish and the caught footage of the shark 
feeding on the clouds of sperm and eggs in the water. Whale sharks present no threat to humans. However, humans do present a threat to them. It's because of humans that the whale shark populations have declined uh, due to fishing by catch, fisheries, uh, which still most of their food, uh, overfishing obviously, and illegal trade for things such as shark fin soup. Because of this, whale sharks have been put down as endangered by the IUCN due to the problems with humans and as well to the fact that they live for so long and mature at such a slow rate. Uh, however, the young uh, are very playful and as they present a threat will interact with humans and allow humans to swim alongside them. Conservation efforts proved difficult as there is no robust estimate of the population sizes. Uh, uh, due to this, they have been moved to Appendix 2 of the CITES uh, legislation. They have been held in captivity uh, since 1980 in public aquariums. However, they present challenges as the sharks need a very large aquarium and have unusual and present feed, challenge, challenges to feed them as they don't actually need to find a way to help them filter feed. Well, the first one that was held in captivity was in a natural bay in Japan and was just netted into the bay.